Well, it's been on a very strong upward traje trajectory over the last, uh, let's say, 12 to 18 months. Um, a couple different forces impacting that. We do think it's going to, it should moderate as the year goes on a little bit. That, so that, that, that steepness of that curve should flatten out a little bit. Not flat, but, but soften. Um, but the challenge is we're also going to hit a point of a quick rise in land and, and, and building materials where a lot of those are starting to come under construction. And when those hit middle of the year towards the latter part of the year, the expectations for pricing are significantly higher. So we think we're going to moderate and then maybe hit another bump in level and then again start to moderate. Uh, uh, further. Well, I, I, you know, I, I, going back 10, 15 years ago, what held it back was a lack of knowledge on how to how to address it. And when anything's new presented, especially on the construction or the development side, costs tend to be higher. Um, as it's become more adopted, they've started to figure out for lead certification, those costs have moderated. They've started to figure out how to do it. There's more subcontractors who can accommodate that. So I think those costs have come down. The challenge with industrial, the nature of the structures makes it a little more challenging to meet these strong ESG goals. I do think it's going to continue to, to a movement towards ESG, and that's really driven, I think, more so by the European major companies, the tenants, because uh, with some of our clients, they clearly see uh, and are pushing towards a carbon neutral stance or mitigating their carbon, uh, the impact from a carbon standpoint on their buildings. And so uh, I think the European clients do see a carbon tax coming down the road, and I think some some North American-based companies see that coming down the road, and I think that'll continue to pick up minimum, momentum where um, you're gonna see tenants demanding more carbon neutral uh, development um, to put them in a better position for when the tax does come into play.